Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to give a demonstration or a diagram kind of expanded to show what we're doing in this little greenhouse and what we've got going on over here. I had shut my fan off because I was rearranging my solar panel because we're not getting as much solar activity through the bubble wrap. So I'm going to have to leave a square the size of our solar panel over there for our fan uninsulated in order to get the correct amount of solar activity to it to run it on a cloudy day like today. So let's run through this. I have my greenhouse and I have my compost pile. This is an exact representation or diagram of my small 6x12 greenhouse I am currently heating with compost. So let's start on here with our compost pile. I had done the outlines in black and the insides in red. The red is all of our systems basically. So I'm going to start, it looks a little complicated, but I'm going to explain this a little bit and I'm going to draw another diagram to show a different expanded view. We'll start at our compost pile. We have our water coiling through and it comes back to the floor of our greenhouse, through the wall of our greenhouse and comes down in the beds underneath my feet heating the floor and thus returning back to our overflow tank here where our pump is in order to pump it back up and then the water circulates through gravity through our compost pile back into our floor and back into the overflow tank to be recycled and continually heated and transferring heat. So let's talk about our air to compost heating system. We are heating our airspace with the compost that travels through a tube. The compost heats the tube and thus produces hot air inside the tube and continually circulates that even when our solar fan is not running. It has a natural draw from the cold to hot, cold to hot. So we're continually cycling air inside our greenhouse without even having any energy put into it. So we've got our little air system. We have a hole at the bottom and a hole at the top, just like over there. And this doesn't look very spectacular. It's just a straight line with some ridges on it. That represents our ducting to transfer that heat. So here we are looking at the backside expanded version of our greenhouse. This is the back view looking at our greenhouse without any compost and these two systems are actually intermeshed so I didn't want to draw them together I wanted to draw them separately and expanded because they don't actually occupy the same airspace let me explain real quick we've got our fan system our tubing running on the back side of our wall just kind of s-shaped against itself and the compost is all up against it so it doesn't get crushed if it was in the middle of the compost it may get crushed on us so this is what we came up with and this is how we've been running it for about two years and it has worked for us without crushing our air tube and still being able to transfer heat from our compost to the airspace through this system. So let's talk about our water system. We have it coiled up in our compost pile on the back side of our greenhouse just running through the compost pile and this isn't the best representation of our water hose because the water hoses have six to eight inches of compost in between layers in order to keep our compost hot and not prevent it from heating up because we have too much hose bunched up in one area. I just wanted to take this one step further. Here we are with our greenhouse and our original layout for what I had. So this is what we're missing. This is what we are not harvesting right now. Really hadn't thought about actually harvesting the methane. I figured I would just get by with all of the heat that I'm producing, but we have a lot of wasted resource and this is how you can harness it. So to trap your methane, you have to trap it from the top and harvest it from the top because it is lighter than air. So it will travel down your hose to a storage tank and to the actual receptacle where you will burn the fuel. A lot of people use just regular inner tubes or some type of balloon matter where it can expand and capture the gas and work as a storage tank and then it pushes the gas back into the receptacle to be burned after it's stored. So this is just a very simple drawing of what I'm going to be experimenting with here in the future. I want to show one more little demonstration of our solar fan and how well it's working. I had taken my fan from the bottom and put it up on the top just to get a little more reach with my solar panel. I'm going to just kind of mat it up against the ceiling so I only have about one square that I really don't have a whole lot of insulation on because I'll have to get the solar activity through our poly onto our solar panel. So I hope everyone found this little demonstration and diagram drawing useful. And if anybody has any further questions, please drop them in the comments below. I want to thank everybody for watching and until next time.